It is so glad to actually be back filming videos for YouTube. I took a break last week, but I'm back. guys welcome to my channel oh my goodness i haven't done it in a week ah! what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's anna michelle and i'm back with another a video <sighs> it's been literally a week two weeks now since i have filmed a video for this channel and i didn't want to come back super hard i wanted to come back you know a little bit mellow because i wanted to take a break last week because i had been grinding for four weeks straight but i am back and i'm glad to be back filming for this channel but before we get into the reason why you clicked on this video i want to give you guys a little bit of updates um if you guys don't know i have changed my handles for a lot of my social medias i will put them up here um just so that you guys can know what they are and they will always be in this description i will update them from this video um forward so i just wanted you guys to know that and also on my instagram i am doing a giveaway for those people who are interested in growing on youtube i will be technically giving away or i guess giving away a book that I really want people who are interested in growing on YouTube to read and it is YouTube Secrets by Sean Kand Cannell and Benji Travis. I am still reading as you can tell by my bookmark in this book but it is actually a really good book and I feel like everyone who's genuinely interested in growing on YouTube should have this book. So I will be purchasing this book for two people. The paperback is literally only $13. I will put my Amazon affiliate link to this book just in case you want to purchase it on your own in the description below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So in today's video, I will be talking about tips to make your videos better and specifically i actually have them written down on my paper it's literally only seven and it's only seven and doing these i've learned from honestly reading this book that i talked about earlier and watching other youtubers who literally talk about the same content that i've talked about but instead of getting ideas from them i literally thought of all of these on my own because these are mistakes that i made um starting youtube and things that i no, no longer do or things that i have improved on and i don't want to be the only one doing them and i want you to grow too so without further ado we're gonna get right into it so the big one that i noticed that a lot of people do is or not unknowingly do is film in portrait rather than landscape so right now i'm filming in landscape which means you can see the entire square of what's going on but when you film in portrait mode you literally only see about this much of the person and i've seen a lot of people who are just starting off um youtube filming in portrait mode and that doesn't always look good i guess when you upload videos so that's one tip is to go ahead and practice uploading and filming in landscape mode instead of portrait mode the next tip that i want to share with you guys is filming using natural light rather than artificial light i mean as opposed to like ring lights and everything now if you have the right setup you can film with ring lights but you can film in artificial light but personally my preference is filming in natural light so right now i don't know why but it's cloudy outside it's springtime it's cloudy and i'm finding that when it's cloudy it's literally just like a natural soft box it's just like i think i don't know what it is but it's literally like a natural soft box for me as opposed to when it's um it's sunny outside when i notice when i use artificial light i just notice i have to use more than one ring light my eyes hurt but when i'm using natural light it literally puts a natural glow and a natural look and feel to your videos now this next tip is something that my mom actually gave me a few months ago when i started 
to film a little bit more for the channel as opposed to just filming every now and then. But if you are a small YouTuber and you don't necessarily have a specific niche yet, I talked about that in another video, if you don't have a specific niche yet and you're still just figuring out what you want to do on YouTube, I don't know how to say this without being mean. <laughs> don't go over, or I'm going to say try not to go over 12 minutes when you're filming your YouTube videos because... If you're a small YouTuber, you want people to watch your content. If you're literally just sitting there talking with no point of what you're talking about, you're just grabbing a camera and talking, nobody's gonna wanna sit there and watch that for probably, I'm gonna say personally, any more than 12 minutes. So, I make my videos between, I try to make them between eight to 10 or eight to 12 minutes. Sometimes it'll go a little bit over, but I really try my hardest to not make them long. Because if you're a small YouTuber, like I said, you want people to watch your content. And if nobody's really gonna watch your content, unless you're talking about, I guess, popular things that are going on, but hey, that's just my tip for you guys. The next one, is something my mom also taught me because first of all, my mom's in the news, she's a news reporter and she literally gives me tips on filming all the time, how to make my videos better when it comes to using, not using copyrighted music. I also talked about that in another video and I will put the tag up here when I talked about it. But my mom told me when it comes to filming videos, do not just use a blank wall. It may, you may think that using a blank wall is making your videos look good but notice right now my entire background is my office space i have my boards over here and i have my to-do list and pin boards over here so um filming on a blank wall pretty much just says i mean i'm not gonna say it's a plain video but spice up your videos a little bit sit on the couch and use a window or sit in your kitchen or whatever you're filming just try your hardest to not just film on a blank wall. It makes your videos look a lot more, much better when you have something to look at in the background of your videos. Now, this is a tip that I just now started to grasp, which was looking in the camera lens as opposed to looking at yourself. Right now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm looking at myself right now in the camera, but now I'm looking at the lens. Can you guys tell a difference? I can tell a difference when I'm editing my videos and when I'm looking at my videos. And when you're a small YouTuber, it's really hard, especially also when you're filming on your phone, it's really hard to kind of get from looking at yourself and looking at the camera lens. And that makes a big difference in your videos because I saw one time when I was watching a tips video is that looking in the camera lens can make it make your viewers feel like you're talking directly to them. And that's exactly what I want to do and talking to myself isn't helping anyone. So I love to talk in the camera lens because it gives you that one-on-one -on -one, in a sense with your viewers. This is another tip that I didn't learn till later on, which was pretty much just about six months ago, was take separate thumbnail pictures. Now, YouTube auto-generates thumbnails for you in the little, when you upload a video, but it would be cool if you verify your account and you are able to upload and take your own thumbnail picture and edit it yourself outside of YouTube. That improves or helps your click rate and it makes your videos look prof professional. And when it comes to creating thumbnails, you should have a general theme overall for your thumbnails. So if you look at my past four thumbnails, the theme of them is always the same. I have like a black square around it and I use the same fonts. And I add a little bit of graphics. I don't always add a whole bunch of graphics. Some YouTubers add tons of graphics to their thumbnails edit them and it's it's blowing up and crazy but i try to my videos are very simple they're very sit down videos and very informative videos so all i do is pretty much take a separate picture or take a video and then take take a screenshot from that video because i feel like that works better for me and then edit your thumbnail from there but definitely take your thumbnails separate from your video 
Now, this is a tip that I do sometimes, or I used to do, and now I don't do it as much, but I have seen other YouTubers do it. And this is the last tip, which means, or which is to switch up where you film, or switch up filming locations, or switch up your background to make things look different, in a sense, because people may be more engaged to watching your content when they say, oh, you know, her board looked like this one week and then the next week it looked different and i mean that's just little things your viewers will pick up on or your subscribers or your supporters will pick up on so maybe you can also switch the camera instead of from being in one direction i can move it over here i mean i don't want to move it over here but you know but hey just switch up your filming location or switch up your camera direction every now and then and that may also improve your videos that's all I have for you guys today. I mean, I know it was a shorter video or whatnot, but I just wanted to come back and give you guys those seven tips on how to improve your video. Please do not forget to leave a like, give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and comment down below which one of these tips you're going to use or you're going to try or that you have tried that helped you the most i will also be doing comment shoutouts in the next frame and i will see you guys in another video bye